Hi, my name is Mark Statham. I'm with Infection Prevention Technologies, and I'm here with Deb Paul Cheadle from Metro Health Medical Center. We're going to talk about the IRS 3200M, and Deb is going to give a little background on infection control and hospital-associated infections. Hi, I'm Deb Paul Cheadle, and I've been doing infection prevention for 19 years. Infection prevention is a multifaceted job description with many components. The problems that we encounter not only is our hand hygiene, but a skin preparation prior to procedures. It's antibiotic stewardship, and it's the environmental cleaning. It's the area where the patient you know, stays when he's with us in a hospital. All of these areas can be sources of pathogens. Well, we can wash our hands with the best soap and do a great job at it. When you walk into a room and touch a piece of equipment that has an organism on it, you've recontaminated your hand. So, you know, a hospital can do all of the required, recommended procedures for eliminated, eliminating line-related bacteremias and UTIs and surgical site infections, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to reduce your healthcare acquired infection rate because the environment ha is a huge reservoir. We've got a antibiotic resistant organisms that live on surfaces for days, months, hours, some for years. And no matter how diligent you are in doing your cleaning, it's impossible to hit every area. And there's a lot of things in the room that we really can't clean the way we should. You need to spray the disinfectant on an item and let it set for three minutes. You can't do that with telephones and nursing call bells and computer keyboards. We do the best we can, but we can't get it all. We at Metro here had a mini outbreak, very small compared to what other hospitals are experiencing and have experienced, and um, noticed that a couple patients seemed to pick up the organism after they were in a recently occupied room. So we heard about the technology at one of the um, conventions, and we asked Mark if he would bring his machine and demonstrate how it worked in our contaminated rooms. And since he had brought the machine in, we've had no transmission. So that was enough to um, convince our hospital board that that was something that we could not do without as part of our environmental cleaning strategy and our um, goal to eliminate hospital-acquired infections. Thanks for going over that, Deb. Now we're going to talk about the IRS 3200M, how it functions, and what the benefits are. For infection prevention technologies, disinfection with documentation is the driving force behind everything we do. That's why when we designed the IRS 3200M, it was extremely important to us to not only create a device that could thoroughly disinfect a room, make it easy to use, do it efficiently, but also to create a documentation process so the healthcare facility knows exactly when, where, and who treated a room. It's a very important part of our strategy to ensure the proper disinfection of healthcare facilities. I'm going to go over the features and functions of the IRS 3200M and a little bit about the technology behind what we do. The IRS 3200M is an ultra high intensity UVC generating device. UVC is a disinfecting wavelength that pierces the cell membrane of a microorganism and crosslinks the DNA and the RNA so that the organism is no longer able to make proteins and function. UVC has been used for many, many years for water treatment, for air disinfection. It's used in microbiology laboratories in their high-level biosafety cabinets to eliminate pathogens to make sure that they're not transmitted to the healthcare workers that are working with the pathogens at that time. The IRS 3200M is an adaptation of UVC technology. What we've done is enabled a healthcare facility to use UVC in a regular, standardized way to treat an entire room. This hasn't been possible previously. It's been very difficult to determine the endpoint dose. With our sensing technology and advanced algorithm, the device generates a very high intensity UVC field in the room, balances that field, properly manages the power available, and measures the UV field until we reach a desired endpoint dose. When that dose is reached, the device turns off and the room's treated. In order to create the highest intensity UVC field, 
the IRS 3200M employs 16 UVC emitters. This technology has been adapted from water treatment facilities. Each module contains an emitter. When the device is activated, the module opens, revealing the UV emitter. Behind the emitter is a tuned surface that reflects 95% of the UVC created. In this way, we're able to preserve the UVC to do what it's designed to do, and that is to treat surfaces in the room. When the treatment is complete, the shutter closes and the emitter is protected. At no time when the device is being transported is the emitter open. The module stays closed, protecting the emitter from damage and the operator from harm. Efficiency is a key component to usability in the healthcare facility. In order for a device to be efficient, it has to be used very quickly. In order to reduce the amount of time required to treat a room with UVC, the IRS 3200M employs some novel technology. The first is that we manage the power in the room so that we can direct our field and balance it for the characteristic of the room. This is very important because we have a limited amount of power that we can draw from a wall outlet. So managing the power help, helps us to treat the room very quickly. Another technology that we employ is bringing additional power that is on board the system. The IRS 3200M employs a special cell that maintains a charge so that we can increase the power output in the room. And between these two technologies, we're able to treat a room in under 15 minutes. Many rooms are treated in under 10. In healthcare, quality assurance is very important. And that's why the IRS 3200M includes a complete documentation system called Steritrack. The Steritrack system is a web-based application that's linked to the IRS 3200M through this handheld remote control device. The IRS 3200M with Steritrack <coughs> tracks the room location with barcodes. In the healthcare facility, each room is barcoded. The barcode is then scanned with an integrated barcode reader that's attached to the handheld remote. This way, there is a link between the room and the room treatment. We eliminate error from data entry. Once the room is scanned, a job is created on the handheld remote. When that job is executed, the user puts in a PIN. That PIN is unique to the user. So we track the room location and the user ID and the time. So each and every treatment is recorded and then uploaded to the Steritrack server. In this way, healthcare facilities can be confident that rooms are being treated properly, they can manage productivity, and manage deployment of a fleet of devices. By tracking room treatments, users, and treatment success, the IRS 3200M with Steritrack helps the facility with their quality assurance programs. Because the IRS 3200M creates a very powerful UVC field, it's important to protect human beings from entering the room. I, the IRS 3200M employs a safety feature which monitors the door for entry. This system, as you see here, looks for motion. When the device is activated, it's required that this motion sensor is activated so that if somebody enters the room, the device will shut down immediately. This is the IRS 3200M handheld computer controller main screen. On the main screen, you see scheduled jobs. On this screen, you see that we have three jobs scheduled. There's information about each job. It has the time that the job is scheduled for, the room that is to be treated, and the mode in which the device will run. To create a job, the user selects new job, selects the time and the date, a location, which is built into a database, and the mode in which the IRS 3200M will run. Then that job is saved. Immediately it's added to the work list. 
A job may also be created by wanding with the barcode reader. In this way, we have a solid data trail between the room location and the treatment. In order to run a job, a job is selected from the work list and start job is selected. A confirmation screen appears with the date and time, the room location, room description, and the mode in which the device will run. Any notes that need to be communicated to the operator can be populated here. Once I confirm that this is the correct location and time and mode for the job, I press continue. Once the job is confirmed, a checklist appears to ensure proper safety and usage of the IRS 3200M. The IRS 3200M is in the center of the room. Check. Target surfaces are exposed. Check. No persons are in the room. Check. Doors are closed and sensors are armed. Checked. Do not enter sign is posted. Check. The IRS 3200M will not activate without a door sensor armed. We may have up to four door sensors for a room to guard up to four entrances. When we activate a door sensor, the status changes to one door sensor armed. We confirm that we have one entry to the room and select one. At this point, a pin is requested of the operator. Each operator has a unique pin which identifies them to the Steritrack system. In that way, the facility can monitor who operated the device and where the device was run. When the IRS 3200M is active, a status screen shows if the device is running, what mode it's in, the location of the device, what procedure is running, if the door sensors are detected in their status, and the progress of the job. In this way, you can estimate when the job will be complete. Also, the operator has the opportunity to stop the job at any point by selecting Cancel. As you can see, our staff have become very comfortable with the IRS, and when we are going to use it in a room, they very quickly bring any piece of equipment that they can get their hands onto into the room so that it can also be sterilized. Um, they very quickly realize that that wheelchair they always wondered about or the um, lift devices, are they really truly getting cleaned? Now they feel 100% satisfied that they are getting cleaned. We have people putting their stethoscopes, their pagers, their um, voceras, anything that they have on them that they want to make sure is sterile.